What's going on, y'all? This is Lo. This is Key. I'm a little Key. Today we're gonna be talking about our affirmations. Good. Mhm. Mm an affirmation, for those of you that don't know, is any spell that you cast throughout the day. When I say spell, they teach you how to spell in school. We spelling right now. Why do they call it spell? Same thing what they doing on Harry Potter with the wine. They yeah. Let's teach them this spell right. Why do they call our language spell? Hmm. Because words is powerful. Very powerful. It's the language we use to communicate, whether it's bullshit or real. Mm -hmm. And therefore, a spell is an affirmation. Now, whatever you say to yourself is an affirmation. Mm -hmm. Your subconscious is going to affirm it. It don't care what the spell is or if it's good or if it's bad, if it's good for you or bad for you, it's just going to internalize it. Absolutely. You know? And I think people underestimate the power of the affirmations they say day to day. Mm -hmm. The music they listen to is casting spells in your subconscious all throughout the day. Awesome. You got to be careful. You listen in the music, they talking about drilling and killing all day. Next thing you know, you think you a drill and a killer. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah. So affirmations are very good. And they could also be very bad as well. Mm -hmm. Depending on the individual. And if he or she knows the power of the spoken word. And the way it's received. Absolutely. I agree with that. Um affirmations you're just affirming what you're saying and if anybody knows what if you know what a belief is it's just that you're thinking the same thought over and over and over again so we can train ourselves to think a certain way and no matter if it's good or bad we get the result of what we think so i Cause we do, we did, or we do affirmations every day. I affirm every day. My husband affirms every day. We, whatever you put behind I am, that's you're setting the pace. Yeah. So if you say I am grateful, I am. A lot of people don't realize it. I, I remember my grandma used to tell me when we were younger, um, if you didn't have money like that, you never say I am broke. You know, I am sick or I am beneath or I am just any other word that, that is a negative word. You don't say that. You don't use that type of language because you're just pulling and drawing that vibration towards you. True. So it's better to just. If you're not going to say anything positive, just do not say anything because it is a spell. You are casting a spell on yourself um, because it's you. You're saying I. Yeah. You're yeah, saying absolutely. I. So it's better just not to even, if you're not, if you don't believe what you're saying, don't do it. And if you're saying something, hoping that something just fall out of the sky, it's not going to work like that. You're going to have to put some action behind it. You're going to have to get in the way of it, get in front of it, like literally, and it'll come to you. So yeah, affirmations, guys, you, you have to be careful at what you're affirming because you are creating whether you know it or not. Yeah. To affirm means you saying something to be true. So when most people hear the word affirmation, they think of something positive. Your subconscious gonna affirm everything you say to yourself. Mm -hmm. Everything you perceive the world to be, you gonna affirm it. And if you continue to say it, it'll crystallize and if you continue to say it, it'll solidify and it'll manifest itself in whatever your reality 
going to be. Mm hmm Absolutely. You know? So, if you've been doing that, and we are guilty of uh, saying things that we wish we wouldn't have said, yeah. you know, it's never too late to change <clears throat> the habit. I mm -hmm. mean, you got to drill this stuff in your head, like, every day, you know? Every day. Like, we literally don't even watch TV. Maybe we'll watch a movie at the end of the day or something. But throughout the day, it's just like we input in positive information mm -hmm. like into our into our day yeah. you know because you living in your future right now right now uh -huh. right now you gotta you have to inundate yourself with positivity you have to train yourself to especially when you come from um a childhood of dysfunction yeah you have to train yourself to be positive you have to train your way of thinking like this has to be a eat sleep like a part of who you are so before my feet even hit the ground in the morning I'm, I'm saying thank you you know because without god we wouldn't be here without the universe whatever you believe in without that you would not be here so i totally think that you should start with your affirmations in the first part of your day. And you need to end, you know, in the later part of your day. With not reflect, mm -hmm, not <laughs> reflect on all the bad things that happen throughout the day. Because a lot of times that's where the pillow talk come in. You start thinking about everything. You sum up your day. And that's the past. It's no longer a part of your present because it happened previously. So it should not even be something that you discuss. It should be... Um, problem solving or, or I am grateful that I made it through the day. That's why they call it sundowning. Sundowning is when you go into a whole another uh, part of your day. You, you're ending the day and you're going into sleep mode. Your body's winding down. You have a natural body clock and it's winding down. Yeah. So I think that once you understand affirmations are powerful, you're saying I. I live... God lives in you, so I, that's very powerful, I, I affirm, I am, and then you go, like some people would say, instead of you saying you don't like that shirt, you say, I am ugly, like, why, I mean, we don't know that we're doing this stuff because it's something that has been programmed, like, so when you're conscious. younger, yeah, but instead of saying you don't like the shirt, you just say I'm ugly. Like, no, you're not. It's just the shirt. You don't like the shirt. Change. It's easy. Straight up. And, like, it's a process. Once you become aware, that's the first thing of what you're mm -hmm. doing. So, like, you just start with positive affirmations. Mm -hmm. And then you'll become more conscious and aware of the words you speak throughout the day. And as you peel back the layers and you start to think, you'll start to uncover, like, mysteries about yourself, why you say this or, you know, why you do that. Mm -hmm. And then you continue to insert positive affirmations and then it'll become you and you ain't just acting. Absolutely. But you, first you have to be aware, like, of the affirmations you're speaking to yourself all day, mm -hmm. every day. Like, it'll really change your day. It will. You know? It will. You got something else? That's it. We're going to holler at y'all on the next one. I'm low. This is Key. I'm low Key. Like, comment. And subscribe. Peace.